Let's see how you can add a watermark or logo to your video like these to make them more unique or safe from being reused by others. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unique Converter. Let's look at a few reasons why it's good to add a watermark or logo to your video. First of all, it helps you protect your content from other people that want to reuse your content or if they do so, your watermark or logo will actually promote your brand. In other cases, you can add a timestamp or location stamp watermark to family videos so you'd remember where and when they were taken. Now, if you're an editor using watermarks like working copy, ungraded, version one, final, on a video before sending it to the client, will show them the current state of the video so they won't immediately get back at you with, are these going to be the colors? Is this going to be the quality? Well, I hope there will be sound effects. Annoying. And you can also protect yourself from not getting paid if you also put a watermark on the final render and only take it down if everything is in order on the financial side. Now, obviously, adding the watermarks or logos can be directly done in the editor software you're using, but in case you forgot or have other videos you'd like to add watermarks or logos to in batch, rebrand your videos, you'd like to add the dates on them, or there could be a thousand other reasons, follow my lead and I'll show you a neat little tool. The tool we're going to use is the Uniconverter that you can grab from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Next, open it up and from the tools menu, click on the watermark editor tool. Import your video or videos you need to work on. Now on the right side here, you can choose your watermark. It can either be an image file or texts. If you want to add an image as a logo, for example, click on add image here and choose your file. Then you can place it on the video wherever you'd like to. Plus you can also resize it here. When it comes to text watermarks, you have more options. You can add up to three text watermarks. You can style each of them and you can also set transparency for them. You can position them the same way or you have the option to make the first one a dynamic watermark. Now a great thing about dynamic watermarks is that they're essentially impossible to remove. A dynamic watermark can either go around the entire screen or can be set to move at a certain part. You can also set the speed for the dynamic watermark. Now, watermarks can be applied to all of the videos that you're working on. So if this is the option that you'll go with, you can save up a lot of time with this. When you're all set, click on add watermark and your videos will be exported in your chosen output folder. So there you have it. That's how you add watermarks uh, or logos in batch to videos to rebrand your content make it more unique or protect your content or work. So if you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.